I feel like this is a bread and rich the kids are in bed episode. It's been a long time since we've done one of those. If you're new around here, I'm Brad, this is Rachel, we call her Rach. We are expecting twins. Again. Not only are they twins, they're both girls. That's new territory. Not only do we already have a set of twins that are four years old, we have a two year old. Who's a girl. So we're gonna have four girls and one boy. And our boy is the oldest by two minutes. <laughs> He's a good, he's the perfect big brother. He is. Everybody he's like, a sweetheart. that I'm taught, I tell at work or whatever about our situation is like, oh, you're a poor boy. And I'm like, I don't think I see it that way. I think he's going to be perfect for this role. He's going to have to be. Yeah. We don't have a choice. He's going to be great. Well, this is definitely our most requested, requested <laughs> video top, requested <laughs> video topic. Quit looking. Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking. I was, sorry. We are picking names. Have we decided for sure that it's gonna be one of these that we're talking about today? No, we have not. We haven't decided for sure if it's gonna be one that's on our list currently. Yes, it's interesting because all of our children's names prior to this have had significant meaning. They've been named after something. Barron, our boy, is brave as a bear. It's a family name from Rachel's family. It's German and we love it. Yep, and we call him Bear. But he likes to be called Bear and also sometimes. It just kind of depends on the day. And his middle name is Porter because we love beer and our favorite beer style is Porter. His twin sister, Lyndall, is named after Lyndall Boulevard in St. Louis, Missouri. And we just changed the spelling to make it more feminine. I did some research on the name Lyndall, which is L-I-N-D-E-L-L, -L, and it's, now I've forgotten. Traditionally a boy name. It's an English boy name, I think. Mm -hmm. But that boulevard in particular is one that when we first started dating, we would go for walks down that boulevard all the time with my dog, Rusty, and had mentioned that that's a beautiful girl's name and that someday when, if we have a little girl, we'd like to name her Lyndall. That's her and her middle name's June, which is after my mother's middle name. And then Eloise is actually named after our favorite band is Penny and Sparrow, and just like right around the time when we were trying to pick a name, they came out with the song, Eloise. Beautiful song. Beautiful. I still love it. Oh, it's a great song. Since then, it's been kind of cool because we, we named her Eloise after the song. We also loved the name. The band is special to us. We've seen them in concert multiple times, met them. They're really cool people. Um, it was more than just like we named her after a song. Like there was a lot of depth behind that too, and we love the name Eloise. Um, they've since sent us handwritten lyrics to the song Eloise, which is really cool. And they invited us out to a concert of theirs in Kansas City. Um, I guess it was because that was kind of different. That was we said everybody needs to go check out the song Eloise, and a bunch of you fine folks went on YouTube and commented <laughs> on that video that we sent you. And so, unfortunately though, that concert that they were having was three days after Eloise was born. So we didn't, we didn't get to go, but right. anyway, now we're on to our final two names for our children. I say final because we have no more frozen embryos left. We are done after these two. Right. 100% done. Okay. Well, with that being said, Penny and Sparrow just came out with a song, Adeline, mm -hmm. and so that's on my list. Everyone's wondering if that's one of the names. Yeah, everybody knows that that's definitely on our list. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't love the name Adeline. It's a great song. It's a great song. I like, I really like the name Adeline. Do you? Yeah. I just know an Adeline. <laughs> so, cool. it just makes it, I mean, I like, I know of an Adeline. I don't know, it makes it weird when you know somebody personally with that name. Really? I think sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So, yeah. the My entire list are just names that I like. Okay. You got one? I Well, I was just saying, like, none of them have meaning. So, I don't oh, know. Oh, not a single one has meaning? Well, kind of. Um, a few of them I've paired a middle name with, and the middle name has meaning. But 
this is like I think this might be the first time that we name our two children a name purely because we like it. You yeah. know what I mean? It will, yeah, probably will be because at this point we've searched high and low. I mean, we've already had two girls and so we've already used the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And it's just kind of, it's almost freeing to just be like, Hey, we like it. Let's name this child this because we love it. It does take forever. I love, I love coffee. We could just name one of them coffee. I love it. Or maybe like a type, Pizza? a type of brew. Pizza? Yeah, I mean, we already have a porter. Yeah. We could do No, I, I was talking about a, a coffee brew. Oh, I thought you meant a beer. Oh. Have you ever heard me refer to a beer as a brew? <laughs> do you want a brew? I mean, you're a completely different person when you're pregnant. So <laughs> That's not true. I can't be held accountable. Completely different? No. What, what do you get? Do you have a name? Yeah, I do. Okay, what do you got? Josephine. This is the only... Actually... You are, you know it, you have I know, a close I know, relationship I know. with the Josephine. I know, but I love the name. You won't pick Adeline because you know of a person named Adeline, but you'll pick Josephine, but you have a, a really close friend named, named Josephine. Josephine. I like the name a lot. Okay. Um, but the middle name I thought that sounded good with it is Sue. Josephine, Josephine Sue, Sue Engelbarts. And we have a lot That's of cute. Susans and Sues in both sides of our family. Yes, we do. So I think incorporating Susan or Sue for like the middle name would be special. Yeah. Your mother's middle name is Sue. Your grandmother My was grandmother Susan. My grandmother was Susan. We Our have a sister-in-law, sister Susan. Susan. Jinx. Personal jinx. Okay, so Josephine, Josephine Sue. Sue. I don't hate it. Okay, oh, can't look at your... How's this? Ada. Oklahoma. We lived in Ada. We had a wonderful, um, we're both optometrists. We had a wonderful uh, rotation in Ada, Oklahoma, the home of Blake Shelton. I like the name Ada. I do too. It's sentimental. It is. Eh? Eh? Put it on the list. Eh, look at us. <laughs> look at us. We found one that has meaning. Uh-huh. And it rings, you know, Ada Engelbart sounds great. It does. Ada. A-D-A. -A. Ada. Interesting. Another kind of interesting thing is that, and I don't want this to put pressure on our decision, but each of our children, and this is purely by chance, each of our children's full names has six letters in it. Like their full first name. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Carrie pointed it out to me because she was writing all their names out in chalk. B-E-R-E-N-D-L-Y-N-D-L-E-E-L-O-I-S-E. -E -E. Yep. They all have six letters in them. So Did you look at that? That's not going to be like, we have to pick a name with six letters. Another what? thing that people have pointed out is that... I do have... My next one has six. Well... I have an Adeline, A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E, seven. Um, oh, the initials so far are Baron, B, Lindell, L, Eloise, E, and two more if they both started with S. Like, when would you ever use the first initial of their name? You wouldn't. But it spells B-L-E-S-S -S -S if we went with two S names for these girls. Kind of a cool thing. I don't have any S's to you. Stop looking. I have none. Okay. To limit ourselves to two S names would be really hard. Like we would be, we would be sacrificing. Sacrifice. Oh, done. <laughs> Not on the list. It sacrifices Susan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up. What do you got? Okay. Ooh, I I actually really like this one. Okay. I'm really. I hope you like it if you put it on your list. I'm curious. See, we, we obviously have, this is literally the first discussion we've had about names, so. I mean, we've had multiple discussions, but it's only been, when are we going to do the names video? <laughs> it's, it's funny, because earlier we were talking about this, and I was like, I don't feel like any of the names on my list are it. I don't feel like any of them are for sure, like, this may work. I just picked names that I liked, purely for the sake of filming this video. But in filming it, we may end up finding a name. Definitely. What do you think about Bradley May? Named after me? No, Bradley. Your name's not Bradley. I legit, Your name's not Bradley. I legit <laughs> thought about Brad. Yeah. Only because Hey Dude has a girl Brad. But it's Bradley. Yeah. No, I don't like it. Oh. I'm sorry. It's cool. What was the middle name? May. Bradley that's, May. That's cute. Bradley May Engelbarts. Yeah. No. Nope. Well, May might stick because we have a June, and they're going to be born in May. And Buck's middle name is May. 
My mom is an identical twin, and their names are Betty May and Barbara June. And they were born in May. And they, <laughs> their mom, my grandma, didn't know they were there were two of them until Surprise! they were coming out. <laughs> until they came out. Okay. Evelyn. I think that's on my list. It, it sounds really good with Engelbart. Evelyn. Except for our boss's last name's Evelyn, mm. which could be confusing. How is that confusing? I mean. How would that be confusing? When would that ever? <laughs> and it's funny because a lot of people call him Dr. Evelyn. Exactly. Yeah. Right. No, I don't, I don't see that being a, an issue. I mean, it, I have it on my list, so I don't think it's a problem. It's just kind of, it's funny that our boss's last name is so close. Yeah. Did you spell it E-V-E-L-Y-N? Although, I, I'm named after my dad's boss. Weird. I forgot about that. Yep. Is his real name Bradley? I have no idea. Hmm. Never met the guy. Must have been cool, though. Mm, With a name like Brad. Interesting. Did not know that. I feel like the light behind my head is... I'm like, well, and it's a little crooked. I'm. We're not videographers. You I see, think we say that every morning. Well, I say that every morning. I've been like making a concerted effort to keep the light covered up with my head. Otherwise, it oh, looks glary. I see what you're saying. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, should I skip Evelyn then? Yeah. Should I come up with another one? No. Okay. Isla. My best friend's daughter. I know, but why does that matter? Yeah, According I mean, to you, They it live should... in North Dakota, so it's not like we're ever going to be near them. That was on my list last time, too. Yeah, it was. I like the name Isla. Yeah, it's pretty. I-S-L-A. Okay, so if we don't do... We could do Adeline and Madeline. Mm. Madeline. Adeline and Madeline. No. Adeline and Madeline. No. You know, like Madeline or Madeline? No. Madeline. Mm. I like better than Madeline. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I, I suggested the name Mabley for Eloise <laughs> when we did one of these videos and Brad was like, it sounds like you're trying to say maybe, but you messed up. Uh -huh. And then we were like, you want to get ice cream later? later? Mabley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyway. So we won't do... I don't like Adeline and Madeline. Or Adeline and Madeline. Or Adeline and Madeline. That's even worse. Uh, yeah, that's, with... that's a real tug twister. Oh. What'd you name your twins? Adeline and Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> no, I don't want matchy names. Adeline and Madeline. Nope. Sorry. Next. Uh, Rose. That's always on the list. Is it? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever picked it's Rose. Us. It is. Oh, okay. Indy. <laughs> I know a guy who had a a pit bull named Indy. <laughs> <laughs> so that can't happen. Yeah, that's out. <laughs> Indy Engelbart. I N D Y. No, I N D I E. It could be I N D Y. Is Indianapolis when you call it Indy? Is it I N D Y? Yeah, I think so. Like okay. the ND 500? Yeah. Yeah. It's I-N-D-Y. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm very neutral. I don't... ND, you don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I'm going to think of a pit bull every time. Nothing wrong with pit bulls. Okay. Actually, this was a really sweet one. It, she was like ND, the blue... ND Engelbarts. You know what I mean? Like the blue... Beautiful. Like the blue gray color. Mm -hmm. She's real pretty. Real shiny mm -hmm. coat. Mm -hmm. ND. What do you got? I have... What do you got that I can shoot down? Yeah, right. I don't know what I was thinking when I put this on here. Okay. I don't know if I connected the fact that this is the main character in Encanto, Maribel. I have that on my list as well. No way. I do. All right, so it's Evelyn and Maribel. How'd you spell it, though? Because <laughs> there's like 14 different ways. M-A-R-I-B-E-L. That's, my... that's the way they spell it in Encanto. Do you hear my chair? No. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like it's really... <laughs> Honey, stop it's, moving. It's just making me feel really self-conscious. Good thing we don't have one of the our microphone. <laughs> oh, God. Mirabelle. Mirabelle. I actually, I picked it because of Encanto. Hmm. I don't think I did. I think I, now that I know that it's the main character on Encanto, it's probably off my list because it's probably going to be really popular this year. Yeah. Definitely. So. Um, 
Olive. That's cute. And we can call her Ollie. So which I, is the name of Penny and Sparrow's new album. Oh, weird. My Ollie nose. Ollie, isn't it? Uh -huh. Is it two Ollies? Yes, it is. I almost named a dog, my dog, Ollie. We go back to a lot of dogs. Well, it, I think Oliver was like the name I had picked out, possibly Oliver, and called him Ollie because I was also really into skateboarding and that's mm -hmm. a skateboarding thing. Yeah, Olive. Olive. It also sounds really good with Engelbart's. Olive Sue. And I love olives. Olive May, Olive Garden. It's a great, great restaurant. <laughs> Ollie. Authentic Italian. Endless breadsticks. <laughs> There's nothing authentic about soup and salad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if if Olive Garden is authentic, then Bravo is not. Because whatever we had at Bravo was. Unless the lasagna, oh, I was so disappointed. Yeah, I needed not impressed. like a lasagna and we went to Bravo in Kansas City after it's striking like, out. It's like soup. It was like soup. It was in, it, there was water, a watery substance in the very bottom of the, anyway. That was unfortunate. That was. So what was it? Olive. 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 I have Eve. I think I had that on my list last time as I, well. May, maybe I did too. Okay. Eve. Yeah. Well, I have Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which we could call Evie. Right. Oh, I took Evelyn off my list. I'll put it back on just so that we remember. Okay. Okay, Eve. I'm just like, I'm not. It's fine. It's okay. That's how I, I have I have Anna or Anna. Oh. I, I like that for a middle name because of, um, again, a few... My my grandma's middle name was Anne, and my sister's name is Annie. Olive, Olive Anna, Anna. Would you say you would do Anna? Because I, I think, think Anna. I think Princess Anna. And my grandma's. I like Anna. Wait, no, she was Ella. Ada Anna. No. That's I really like the name Ella too, but it's Indi so popular. Indy Anna. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Indy and Anna. <laughs> Huh? 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 You like it? No. Oh. Well, I also, oh, so this is interesting. I have Olivia, so we could do Olive and Olivia. Yeah. Olivia and Olive. Perfect. <laughs> we could do Olive Indy and Olivia Ann. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we could. What do you got? I, I just or did one. Oh, Olivia. Um, do you like Olivia, though? It, yeah, but I feel like that's really popular. You do? How about Alexa or Siri or OK Google? <laughs> OK Google. I'm sorry if your name's Alexa or uh -huh. Siri. Now Siri's going to be listening to the rest of our conversation. Uh -huh. If so, it's Alexa. Uh, our two-year-old Eloise can control her. Alexa, play edamame. She <laughs> says that all day long. Play edamame. Uh oh, oh, she's going to play it. Oh, phew. Uh, it pulled up Firefox, oh, luckily. Okay. Is it my turn now? Yes. Uh, so so are you now? joking about that? Yes, of course I'm joking. And it's on your list? Yeah. To That's one the, of your ten? To make the joke for the video. Oh my gosh. Do you have <laughs> ten other names? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> okay, good. You're not in trouble then. <laughs> um, simply May. Not Is May the middle name? No. <laughs> uh oh, my bedtime's coming up. Yeah. I took a three hour nap today, so I don't know how this bedtime yeah, yeah, is going to yeah, go. Yeah, no joke. Sorry, I like simply. I really like <laughs> May. Oh. Without the simply? Yes. <laughs> simple is not a bad name. Oh my gosh. You're, uh, not, you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> May. M-A-Y or mm -hmm. M-A-E? I think M-A-Y. I don't know. Yeah. I'm grasping. May doesn't really go with Engelbart's. May, May Engelbart's. Engelbart's. That doesn't really ring off. No. Um, it needs to be two syllables, I think. Ethel. What? Ethel. I feel like Eloise is also an older generation. Is Ethel... Isn't that like... A type of gasoline? Well, yeah. But it's also a name. It is? Yes. Ethel? Like, yes. That's like a famous name. 
You don't like it? No. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I like, guess we won't be using Ethel Engelbart. I like Esther. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Is it on your list? No. Okay. I like Esther better than Ethel, and I feel like it's on the same level. Level. Mm -hmm. um, what about Presley? <sighs> yeah, that's fine. This is going to be so hard. I know. Um, Gertrude. No. Oh. You like it? How about Audrey? Someone suggested, get this, Charlotte and Audrey. That's funny. I know. We have friends whose twins are named Charlotte and Audrey. Yeah. Now I'm blanking on the younger two. They have two sets of twin girls from mm -hmm. IVF. All four girls. I can't remember either. Charlotte, Audrey, and Evelyn. And it starts with an M. Charlotte and Audrey are the younger two. And then it's Evelyn and... I loved all their names. They're all really great. Uh, so is that a no on Gertrude? I think so. Pearl. I have an Pearl. Uh, those last three were like all older. Yeah. Pearl, Gertrude, and Ethel. Mm. Well, you have a... Wouldn't they make cute baby names? I had an Aunt Audrey and an Aunt Mildred. What's that and have those to do with great. Pearl and Gertrude? They're like the same, they're on the same level as those. Oh, okay. And they're actually in our family. And they were neat ladies. What? Audrey was this amazing piano player. I have told you about her. Uh, only she was just played by ear. I mean, she didn't need. She didn't know how to read music, but she could play Maple Leaf Rag, like nobody's business. How's that one go? Da -da -da -da. Wait. What's the Adams Family? No, that was. I, I didn't get very far in it because I. Do, 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 oh, do, we're going to get a copyright strike. <laughs> uh, what do you got next? It's, I'm out. That was 10 already? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, we didn't get very far. Um, I guess we're probably going to have to do another one. I really like Bradley May and Josephine Sue. I can't. We can't do Bradley. That's just weird. Why is that weird? Because my name is Brad. That is why. Josephine named her daughter Josephine. And they call her Josie. I know, but they're both girls. I like the name Brad for a girl. <coughs> when I'm at when I'm at Panera and I give them like my name, or I give them our number, it's under your number and your name for our rewards deal. Right. And they say Brad, and I'm like, yep. Actually, at Starbucks as well, we're both under our same account, and it's, I'm Brad at Starbucks. <laughs> like they think I'm Brad. <laughs> you don't think that they think that's your husband. I think Brad is a common enough name for a girl that they probably think I'm Brad. And I like hey, it. Hey, hey Dude was my favorite. Well, so it was Saved by the Bell. And then Hey Dude was Hey Dude was my second favorite. And then probably Salute Your Shorts. I didn't watch any of those. I'm five years old at four and a half years older. I watched Hey Dude maybe a handful of times, but I never, not enough to even know the characters' names. Brad and Melody. Did you watch um, and Bud. Guts? What's, is that the one where they like, it's an obstacle course? Oh. Uh, Global Guts or something? Or it's like. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, on Nickelodeon. Did you watch. Um, we should probably end this. It's at 24 minutes already. Did you watch the one where they have to guess what the person like did or invented or whatever? And there's the panel and they ask questions and then they get slimed at certain times. And then on the. Like the board is a big head and it's on the brain. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I never watched it though. Was Mark Summers the host? I feel like he hosted a it. It was of that a girl stuff. at first, anyway. Maybe. I don't know who Mark Summers is. Well, comment below with more suggestions because we'll take them because we obviously haven't settled yet. And we'll probably, I don't know if we'll do another like possible names video. But Why not? Ob I feel like it helped. Actually. Yeah, that's true. And okay. we, we won't take the time to have this conversation unless we sit down, sit down in front so of So maybe camera. next month, in one more month, we'll do, and maybe we'll, maybe we can and make that video like, we're going to use one of these names. Ooh, and sneak it in. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. All right. Comment below.